Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a foundation routine, um, but this time it's going to be a really lightweight summer foundation routine. Um, if you've watched my other tutorial videos, you know that I typically go for a full coverage liquid foundation. However, in the summertime, especially here in Maryland, we've been having like the most hot, humid, sticky, like go outside and your whole face melts off weather. So I tend to go for mineral foundation when it's really, really hot outside. So I wanted to show you guys kind of like my hot weather routine. So I'm really gonna cover up all this blah. My face is looking really bad today, which is why I chose today to do this video. I wanted to show you guys just how great the coverage is on this foundation. So the mineral foundation I'm gonna be using is Sheer Cover, and you guys know that I have used Sheer Cover for years. If you've watched my channel, some of my very first videos I talked about Sheer Cover. It was some of the first makeup that I ever used. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right into the tutorial. I'm gonna start off with my concealer, and this is the Conceal and Brighten Trio from Sheer Cover. I'm in the color Light Medium. And this particular concealer is actually um, part of my favorite concealers video that's a few years old, but still just a ton of amazing concealers. And I'll just go ahead and link that below if you guys are interested in my top concealers. Um, but anyways, I'm just taking this little brush and I'm actually mixing the two colors, the light color and the more medium color, and just getting both of those on my brush and then just tapping underneath my eye because I have super dark circles, as you guys know. And then I'm also just running it down the sides of my nose where I have some obvious redness. And then up into the corner of my eye where I also have some darkness. And you guys can see that I have scarring on my face. I have some hyperpigmentation. Um, a couple like scabs from blemishes that I had. I got burnt the other day on my face when I was outside. So basically my face is just a complete mess. I'm also going to use just a little bit of concealer underneath my nose where I also just have some discoloration and right down the center. Now at this point you can either use your brush to blend it in or you could use your finger. Alright, so we've concealed all of our scarring and blemishes and just dark spots. Now I just go ahead and take a little bit of our light color on my finger and I'm actually just going to use that on my eyelids. I have super dark eyelids. Um, they are hereditary. Matter of fact, people sometimes think that I have eyeshadow on when I actually don't because they're that dark, um, which can be a pro and a con. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that just to conceal all of the purple and blue um, veining that I have on my eyelids. It also acts as a really awesome um, eye primer. So next I'm going to be using Sheer Cover's Perfect Shade Mineral Foundation, again in the color medium. And as you can see, it's just a really nice light mineral powder. I'm just going to go ahead and tap a little bit of this into our lid. And then take a powder brush, just swirl it in there and tap it off. Just get off any of that excess. And then we're just going to go ahead and swirl that onto our face. Just buffing it on. So as you can see, the foundation gave us a really nice light to medium coverage. It almost has a dewy sort of radiant luminous effect. So it's going to make your skin look really glowy and healthy, which I love. And of course, there's no cakiness, no settling into the fine lines, which is really great, especially with this crazy hot weather. So next, we're just going to be doing a little bit of bronzing and contouring just to give us a sun-kissed glow. And this is Sheer Cover's Sun-Kissed Bronzing Minerals. So I'm just going to be using a little contour brush, swirling it in there, tapping off the excess, and then just adding it along our normal contour line. And I just kind of swirl it on. Work it up into my temples. Work it up onto my forehead because that's where the sun would naturally hit my face. And I'm also just going to use a little bit down the sides of my nose. 
just to give it some extra shape and just some color. And right here along my jawline. And then I'll usually just blend it out a little bit with my um, powder foundation brush just to make sure that it's all nice and blended and even. Okay, so next, just a little bit of blush, and this is the Senna Cosmetics Face Color in Charisma, which I've had like forever. Um, it's pretty similar to, I think, NARS Orgasm. Just applying a little bit of that to the apples of my cheeks and up to my cheekbone. And then blend that out as well. So now I'm going to go back to my Conceal and Brighten Trio. And I'm just going to take my concealer brush and this time I'm going to use some of the white, which is actually a little highlighter. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that on my brush. And I'm just going to apply that right underneath my brow bone. And then I'm just going to use my ring finger to blend it. I'll apply a little bit of that right here in the inner corner of my eye. That's just going to help to brighten that space up. I'm also going to take a little bit of that and go down the bridge of my nose. and right here along my cupid's bow. And yes, my hair is like crazy today. I went out in the humidity and it's just in full on open rebellion. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of eye makeup now. Obviously on a hot summer day, you don't have a ton of eye makeup. So I just do something really simple. Um, so this is the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill in the shade eight. For some reason they just do numbers and not really names which is kind of like uncreative but whatever it's, it's a really nice shimmery um, champagne I've had this for like a lifetime so I just get a little bit on my finger and just dab it onto my eyelid This stuff will stay put all day, so that's why I love it for this time of year. Okay, so I had to take down this crazy mane because I couldn't take it no more. So we're just gonna curl our eyelashes next, and I'm just using my Kevin Aquan eyelash curler, which is my fave because it doesn't really pinch my eyelids. Thank the Lord. All right, so just curl those. Now they're looking all gorgeous. Um, and then I'm just going to be applying my mascara. First, I'm going to apply the Sheer Cover Lengthening Mascara. Nice big fat wand, which I love. And then really quickly before that dries, I put the Lash Extending Fibers over top. And then over top of the fibers, another coat of the mascara. And you can see what my lashes look like after applying that. Holy cow. <laughs> it really gives them like a ton of length which is amazing, so I absolutely love that. Um, and then the last step in my summer foundation routine is just lip gloss. And I like the L'Oreal Color Riche Balms because they have SPF in them. Um, and of course, you don't want to burn your lips. So I like to use something with an SPF of 15 at the very least. Um, and this is in the color Rose Elixir, which is just like a really nice, natural, light pink, just kind of like the same color as my lips. So really just moisturizing and protecting them. Um, so that is the complete look. As you guys can see, it was really simple, not a ton of products, products, just a really natural, lightweight look for summertime. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm going to go ahead and put all of the products mentioned down below. Be sure to go check out my last video, which was the first part of my dollar store DIY series. And I showed you guys how to make two different jewelry and makeup stands for under $5 a piece. So you can't beat that. So be sure to go watch that after this video. Thank you guys so much for being here. And until next time, bye guys.